Good morning. Welcome back to JPCE Spiritual Talk. It's Jerry Campbell. This morning's devotional, Born Again. Reading from John chapter 3, verse 3. It's one of my favorite readings, John chapter 3. Before we get started, we we'll open up in the prayer in the, name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shine to our hearts, O loving Master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of your mind. That we may understand your teachings in Scripture. Help us apply what we learn, such as your having conquered civil desires. We may pursue a spiritual way of life. Thank you, doing all things that are pleasing to you. You, Christ, your God, you are light. To you, give glory. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever. My sages, Amen. Our Father, who art in heavens, how that be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses. To forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the glory of the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever, the sages. Amen. The Lord is our shepherd. All right, good morning. Welcome back. So great is his faithfulness. Indeed, the Spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So born again. John chapter 3, verse 3. In the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus replied, I assure you, unless someone is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. John chapter 3, verse 3. So entering a saving relationship with Christ is a life-changing experience. All things become new. Not some things, but all things. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. For the first time in your life, Christ is Lord, God is Master. When you become a Christian, Christ's presence will affect every part of you. You will have new thoughts, new attitudes, new values, and new sensitivities. New priorities will dr drastically affect your relationships. You will view everything in your life from a Christ-like perspective. Christianity is not something you add to your life. It is life. Nicodemus thought that salvation meant performing certain religious exercises and holding to particular religious teachings. He had no idea of the all encompassing nature of salvation. When you become a Christian, God gives you a new heart so that everything becomes new. God gives you a new mind like that of Christ so that you think differently. He gives you new emotions so you feel deeply about completely different matters. You become sensitive to sin so you're no longer comfortable with it. Your recreation will, will be affected as you are made aware of what is honoring to God and what is not. Your relationships will now be guided by the Holy Spirit. Destructive habits and attitudes previously immune to change will be transformed. Have you noticed the changes God has brought to your life since you have entered a vital, a vital relationship with Jesus Christ? These changes should be very noticeable as a testimony of the new life you received when you trusted Jesus as your Savior and Lord, in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever. Sages. Amen. Beautiful read, beautiful reflection. It's one of my favorite readings. The new birth, entering the kingdom. The conversation between Jesus and Nicodemus is one of the, the parts of the Bible that really got me on my path. Right? So let's look at verse 3. It says, Jesus answered and said to him, Most surely I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So born again, let's make this a quick teaching moment. So born again, the word again can also be translated from above and clearly refers to the heavenly birth from God through faith in Christ Jesus. You can also reference John chapter 1 verses 12 and 13. This heavenly birth is baptism. Let's look at John chapter 3 verse 5. And it says, Jesus answered, most surely I say to you, Unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. So the heavenly birth is baptism, verse 5, and our adoption by God as our Father. Galatians chapter 4, verses 4 through 7. This new birth is about the beginning of our spiritual life, with its goal being entrance into the kingdom of God. Look at verse 5, what we read. So John chapter 3, verse 5. It says, Jesus answered, Most surely I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. The birth of water and the Spirit is a direct reference to what Christian baptism and also the gift of the Holy Spirit given at chrismation. 
in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Before we close out, let's look at verse 4. And Nicodemus said to him, How can man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? There Nicodemus is misunderstanding. He has complete misunderstanding, questioning the possibility of a second physical birth. Misunderstanding occur frequently in John's Gospel. Christ uses this opportunity to evaluate an idea from a superficial or earthly meaning to a heavenly and an, to a heavenly and also internal meaning. Meaning. Thank you all so much. New birth, right? We all should have our new birth. Thank you all so much for listening and following. In the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. O oh Lord God, you've spoken us your divine saving words. You illuminate the souls of sinners and comprehend what we just read. That we don't appear simply as hear spiritual words, but doers of good deeds, true pursuers of faith, having a blameless life and conduct without reproach in Christ our Lord. And to you we glory, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever. Sages, amen. Our Father worked in heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses. Forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. But yours is the kingdom, the power, the glory of the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The sages, amen. The Lord is our shepherd. We depart in peace, name of the Lord, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Peace be with you all, go in peace. Shalom, shalom. May the Lord forgive those who love us and those who hate us. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Lord, make his face shine upon you and be merciful to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever. Sages. Amen. Jerry Wesley Campbell, good morning, good day, good evening, good afternoon. Whenever and however these messages find you all. I love you all so much. JPCE, spiritual talk. Never, ever hold back. Right? Never, ever hold back. Seek him. I love you all so much.